I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos. And I'm Catherine Glass. And we're here to open the spiritual world to the world. That's right, we are. We always do. We do. And then spring has finally sprung, we hope. Thank right? God. Over I here know. on the East Coast, it's been a long haul getting it's, to spring. It's true. And we have a great show today. Yeah. Yeah. This Melissa Harris is an mm -hmm. artist, right? Mm -hmm. How yep. would you describe her? A spirit artist. That's great. And we saw her, Spiritly I saw her inspired. at one of the um, functions that was happening. Uh, uh, an exhibit? The Natural Health Expo. That's Natural right. Living Expo. That's right. That's and where you great. met her, but I've known about it for a long time. Right. And yeah. then we invited her to come and she worked out her schedule and she was able to take out of her busy schedule and come yeah. in. You'll see some of her artwork and some of the other th items that she brought. Yeah, we'll she's talk from New York, I believe Woodstock area. Oh, oh I love Woodstock. I, know. I, I love have to Woodstock. Go. And You've so never she makes, no, I haven't been. I want to oh. go. Um, she like makes Sedona. Yeah. <laughs> Only a little more hippie ish, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, she makes these beautiful paintings, and, and I have one, and I love it. So, and her That's cards great. and her books. And then we're going to do the psychic challenge. So, uh, when this segment is over, don't go away because we will have you help help you get in tuned more with your psychic ability right. or your intuition or your sixth sense. Yep, like we so do don't, every week. We love doing that every week. And mm -hmm. then at the end, we'll finish with some psychic tips, and yep. you'll have some tips on how to do whatever we need to do to even become more in tune and That's a right. better person. And open too. our sixth sense. Absolutely. Yeah. And we couldn't do it without our sponsors, mm -hmm. Julio Liquors, Liquor, Spirit, Spirit Meets Spirit. Spirit. And also <laughs> Healing. Healing Essence Center, my holistic health center that I have with my husband in West Concord, Massachusetts. You can get acupuncture there, Ayurvedic medicine, nutritional guidance. He, um, energy healing, clairvoyant readings, mediumship, lots of services. I know, it's great. It's Check right in out. Concord. It's yep. not too far either. Yeah. Yep. And then also Commerce Bank. Commerce Bank is also a sponsor here on Six Sense and Beyond, who's been supporting local television for the longest time. And now Six Sense and Beyond, which is an Thank international show. Yes, yes we, we get picked up all over. That's so great. Yes. And then also TJ Woods Insurance. When you have any kind of insurance needs, no matter what, Feel insured when you have TJ Woods insurance. And of course, thanks Christian Ray, who's joined another powerhouse, Sal Akuri at Akuri Moda for, you know what, you can get curly hair too if you yeah, want. Yeah, she's my twin today. I know, we're twin fairies, <laughs> we're twin fairies. And let's just go right yeah, into, yeah. Okay, welcome to our show, Melissa. Thank you so much for having me Melissa here. Melissa Harris, yes. That's great. Got our goodies here. I know, so now you, came in from Maine, right? You reside in Maine? No, no I live in New that? York, but I was oh. visiting Maine, dropping off some paintings and doing some of my spirit essence portraits. That is great. So what are spirit essence portraits? Spirit essence portraits, I've always been an artist and I've always been a psychic. And some years ago, I was looking for a way to combine the two. So I decided to uh, try something whereby I'll give somebody a reading, maybe like a half hour reading. We'll talk a little bit about it, and then I will put together the elements of what I find when I'm tuning into someone, and I'll do a narrative watercolor painting, and wow. the whole process takes about an hour and a half. We put on dreamy music, uh, some music that's appropriate Sounds to fabulous. what I've gotten, and they watch, and then they take the painting home, and people love them. That is great. And this is one of her. Right, this, this is, is one of your favorite. Painting. One now that's favorites. not a spirit essence portrait, right. it's just it's one of my paintings, so uh, one of my different. most popular ones, so that's different. Um, a spirit essence portrait would, uh, that is no one in particular, that's a figure out of my but imagination. But I feel so much spirit essence coming I out know. of it, don't you? It's well, true. that's what I try it's to get in my work. I try positive. to get the essence of whatever it is that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing a landscape, I want the essence of that place in there. If I'm doing somebody's traditional portrait, I really want the essence of that portrait. So the difference between those and the spirit essence portraits is that I am also giving a reading and really picking up uh, significant elements about that person. So I will weave the, for example, if I'm working with someone and the, the uh, maybe the issue is about that person's it's time to empower themselves, mm -hmm. then I'm going to compose a painting that's about empowerment. Cool. Uh, might be with someone else that they, uh, it's a time for, for balance. So I'll compose a painting. I might put, sometimes their spirit animals come in, their totem animals, oh, sometimes wow. their guides come wow. in. So I'll put those into the painting too. Beautiful. I never know what they're going to look like. Oh. 
When I, I want one. It's I know. So much fun. It's so when, much when, fun. When I lived in New York, actually, there was a, a spirit artist, mm -hmm. and she did, a, and I was always really into this, even before doing a TV show and mm -hmm. getting connected so much, and they did the same thing. There was an, an artist who picked up whatever your energy was and then came back with a painting. They would mm -hmm. take notes and, and come back with. And, and I remember for my son's father, he had some Native American Indian in him without her knowing. Mm -hmm. And she picked up on that and that was one of the images she put on so there. So you're painting the essence of the person. Are you also painting their spirit guides? Or sometimes if they show up or, I'm, or sometimes, like I said, they're totem animals. Mm -hmm. It just, I never know. Mm -hmm. When I go into work for a day, I never know what's going to show up. It's actually you're giving see, a reading with yes. your with Well, your I'm, I'm, brush I am hand. giving them a reading first. They get a regular psychic reading because yeah. I also work as a reader right. and have since the 80s. So um, I give them a complete reading for about mm -hmm. a half an hour. And then I tell them that I'm not going to talk for a while and I go into silence. And while I'm painting, I actually am still downloading information. So that's why I don't talk to them. And you're often local in Massachusetts because this show is, is starts in yes, Massachusetts. Yes, I'm in Andover, Andover a lot. I am Circles in, of um, wisdom. Yes, and I'm in Cohasset. A woman has a mm -hmm. healing center called JLJ. Mm -hmm. And then there is a place in, I can never remember the name, Hubbardston. Hubbardston, yeah. uh -huh. that's uh, true close North, to here. Um, mm -hmm. Healing Center. Oh, yes, that's yes. great. We have to have some of them on our, our show. Yeah, well, I'm going to have you come to Healing Essence Center for sure. Oh, okay, yeah, Absolutely, yeah. that's That'll great. Be fun. Now, besides paintings, now, you, are I these also, yours too? Yes, I decide, people ask me the same questions over and over. What inspires me? Have I always been psychic? What does being psychic have to do with my artwork? Mm -hmm. And I, I just got kind of tired of asking <laughs> and answering the questions, so I decided to write a book. And in the book, there are uh, a lot of paintings and images that people Beautiful. don't see. You know, I have um, a lot of images on my website. Well, that one's actually a painting of someone uh, did of me. But paintings, uh, oh, this was spirit guides coming in the window when I was oh. living in France. I had a Fulbright grant for painting when I was younger and lived in Paris for two years. Wow. And that's actually when I was really practicing my channeling. Such I had a big spiritual artist. opening then. So you've been, have you been all over the world? Um, I've been a lot of places. I'm quite nomadic. So um, this book is about the combination of my life as an artist and a psychic. And right now I'm doing a second Fabulous. book for a publisher quite um, uh, Llewellyn Worldwide, mm -hmm. and painting, that is painting outside the lines. Painting outside the lines. So the next one is called um, 99 Keys to a Creative Life, wow. and that's being published by Llewellyn Worldwide, and mm -hmm. that will be out in 2015. And that book addresses um, creativity in relation to spirituality. That's fantastic. Yeah, yes. I'm really excited about it. It's mm -hmm. broken down into three segments: spirituality, intuition, and awareness. Can you give our audience just a a little synopsis of maybe one of the segments on well what they could read they can read about awareness they can tune into well basically the book is about how to jumpstart your own creativity and how to use your spirituality to awaken your creative process mm. combining those two how uh, well you know that's a long conversation <laughs> <laughs> so mm, that would be really hard to go into well would it include, include meditation right would yes exactly it does include, because there yes of course you have to train and train and train but how does someone start does someone start before and visualize a photo in their mind or they see what comes to them <sighs> Or they connect with a part of themselves, maybe, that's great. Um, the whole spirituality section is really about connecting to yourself on a deeper level yeah, and connecting to God, the divine, Jesus, I don't care what you call it, higher right. power, whatever it is that is divine right. to you. So that is that section, and there are 33 keys in that section. So there are exercises in the book to go through. This other section, awareness, is basically about like, hey, let's wake up and look at the world around us because in my sessions with people, I um, am amazed at uh, where people get so kind of pigeonholed in their lives and they're not noticing all the gifts that are available, you know, or to their us. spiritual power. Yeah, their spiritual power, yeah. all of that. Um, can I interrupt you for yeah. a second? So one of our missions is to open the spiritual world to the world. And it doesn't sound like you're doing anything differently than what we're doing. Nope. You're helping people Definitely open light the worker. spiritual world to them yeah. Yeah. as well. Um, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And there's so many people I'm finding that when they learn that I have this show, 
I've had the other show for six years, and they said, that's fine. Then when they learn about this show, they go, tell me more about it. Tell me what you believe. Curious. People want answers, and so Waking if we up. can give them answers in different ways. Mm -hmm. Well, when you mention meditation, um, for me, that is base. You know, that's it's like ground zero. Yeah, yeah, because I would not be able to do what it is that I do if I had not spent a considerable amount of time in meditation. And that was, I started meditating a very long time ago. And I do believe that we all need to go back to the still point. Um, several times throughout the day, especially, especially when... Especially now. <laughs> yeah, especially Explain, now. Excuse me. All of us are not psychics here. We're, <laughs> we're sensitive and we have a sixth sense. Talk about a still point. Okay. The still point. For me, what the still point is, is going, I, I need to close my eyes. So I close my eyes, I take myself to a very quiet place in the house, outside in nature, wherever that might be, so that I am able to close off the rest of the world. It's helpful for me to be able to do that. These days I don't need to go do all that, but right. you know. Okay, so I'm sitting outside, I'm sitting on a rock, I've got my eyes closed, and I ask my higher self, my guides, spirit, uh, to, uh, to guide me to the core of my being mm -hmm. and to wow. uh, allow myself to be still enough for however long it takes mm -hmm. to center myself, ground myself, and if I'm asking for guidance, to just uh, to be able to receive it. So I can't really receive my own guidance if I'm not still enough to be able to listen and hear it. And the answers might come as you know, in a number of ways. It might come just as symbolic as a bird flying by or a butterfly or right. a feel, a twitch in my toe. You know, it, the answers come in so many ways. And that's what I try to emphasize to people that if you're not listening. You don't need the fireworks or you don't need no, a thunderstorm to happen. No, and it's important to, to right. get the, the, the ego mind out of the way. That's the whole point because your right. mind will, will tell you, it'll make you doubt, it'll do all kinds of things and the still point is about getting beyond that and ex yeah. then you'll feel very expanded and that's when you can hear yep. your intuition and Ex your guidance. Exactly. And, and you know, can I take it from the psychic to the real world? Also, because this is what we like. We love. I love it to be just so blended. So it's you don't have to say it's a day. psychic. It's not right. your sixth sense. It's just your sense. Mm -hmm. That when there's an elite athlete, they get into a still moment. Mm -hmm. a zone, they yeah. visualize themselves crossing the finish line or getting a basket into the basket. Mm -hmm. So everybody, it's not just no, it's psychics. <laughs> it's a human thing. Right. What we're doing is we're telling everybody that they can do that before you make a ma major decision. Get into a still place. Clear your mind instead right. of the anxiety setting in. So th these are techniques that everybody needs to just exist and coexist. Mm -hmm. Right, and days. the place where art, I want to bring art back into that because I do feel that, well you're mentioning um, athletes and I also feel that artists of all different genres actually they function in that zone all the time although they might not intellectually connect it mm -hmm. because in order to make art you know I'm moving myself out of the way and I think every I'm, it's not you know everybody's psychic and everybody is creative too yep. but when we're making Can art you say that again everybody is psychic and everybody is creative Yes. It's just, it, I've been teaching for a long time. Yep. I see it all the time. Yep. So anyway, when we are making art, we move ourselves out of the way, spirit comes through, or our higher self comes through, there's the image. Or we're able to just be in that zone long enough to create what we're going to create. And a writer, same thing. Musician, same thing. So, yeah. and you know, like I said, everybody is creative. So when you go about your tasks during the day, or you think about what you're going to make for dinner, go to the still place and let it flow. Eggplant Parmesan. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> and I, I have to add, and I know we have to wrap this up with Melissa, and thank you for being on our show today. It's thank beautiful you. beautiful information. That, yes, everyone is psychic. However, psychic means of the soul. Mm. So you must be connected and quiet to access that part of right. ourselves. And hopefully the world is changing to a place where the mainstream public, everyone, accountants, businessmen, everybody, will be able to access that stillness in their yeah. lives to access their psychic ability. Right. You know, because everyone is not math gifted or right. or science gifted. Right. I could not go to medical school and, and learn to do surgery. Right. I don't have the interest or the propensity. Right. But you, you can, everyone can connect to their own intuition. And I want to add to this too is also, because these people help guide people in their own specialty, like accountants and doctors, 
I think it's critical that they get into that space because they are It'll guiding them. It'll make them more whole. It'll make Even them more better whole. at what they do. Right. Absolutely. Instead of coming yeah. strictly from right. that part of the brain it's that just... It's not witchy. It's not sin. It's no. not scary. That's just old training and programming to, to put fear into people. That's a whole nother subject. That's another <laughs> subject, yes. <laughs> right. So t finish with maybe giving um, a... a an inspiration to Oh, okay. So, yeah, I just inspire people. Yeah, we'll go back to meditation. If you don't know where to start with any of this, I suggest that you practice going to the still point and maybe go to a meditation class. Mm -hmm. And I think that what right. I see practice. over and over is that people are having a hard time being still with themselves. Right. They may face emotions that they don't want to deal with. Right. So, anyway, I just encourage That's And training. our fast technological world doesn't actually support it very much. So Thank you. Right. It's an extra Absolutely. challenge. Absolutely. Okay. Will you be part of our psychic challenge? Will you hold an object? Drum roll, sure. psychic Candle. challenge. We love the psychic um. challenge. All right, so we have three objects. Let's keep them close. <clears throat> and basically what we do with this for those who haven't seen it, but those who have, is that we have three objects here. Catherine will transmit, she'll pick an object, both Melissa and I do not know what it is, she'll transmit it, and then when we come back from the next segment, she will then let you know which one it is and let us know too. So mm -hmm. right now what we have here is a candle, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is an Om symbol, the symbol for the divine or eternity from India. Right. And this is um, a feather, a shamanic healing feather with peacock on it, and I think that's turkey hawk and a starfish. All right, so get ready, get still, <laughs> mm. and in tune, and go ahead. Okay. She projected the image out. All right, she did telepathically. it. Telepathically. And rem you know, you say pick the first thing. Pick the first thing that, that comes came into to your mind. mind. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. Well, we'll thanks, Melissa, there. so much. Thank thanks you. for helping us with the Psychic Challenge. And as you were speaking, your website was coming up so people know how to get in touch with you and buy your next book. We can't wait. We'll have Absolutely. you back. Thank you so Absolutely. much for having great. me. Thanks, Thank Melissa. You. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to Sixth Sense and Beyond. And this is the segment of our show where I'm going to give an on-air reading. And today's guest is Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. You look so me. dapper. I love your hat and your glasses. Thanks. You're so yeah, styling. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to touch your hand for a minute just to okay, tune in really ahead. quickly to some of your energy. And, um, and we were talking a little bit. You said you wanted me to look at your career, right, yeah. today? Okay. So, Andrew, what I know is that um, you're extremely creative. You're a, and I, I know this before we started the reading, you're a visual artist. Um, but I want to talk about this settled thing going on with you. Um, you're married and have children, yes. and you're settled, and you're comfortable in a way in your life, and that's all wonderful and really good. Um, it's a great foundation from which to spring forward from. Mm -hmm. However, Spirit is telling me that you're a little too comfortable and that you need a little more of a push in your own deeper um, creative belief in yourself. You know, yeah. um, earlier we were interviewing Melissa Harris and she was talking about getting in touch with that creativity mm -hmm. uh, within you. Yours is a combination of, of not confidence, more of a you need a little more push to be more driven. I know that you're very active, I can see it, and, and you're very creative and you have great ideas and you're, you paint and you make film and you draw or, or you, something like that, but you, um, there's a part of yourself that doesn't really see fully what you're actually capable of. Yeah. I think that you're not reaching high enough, I guess is a good way to say it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's holding yourself back a bit mm -hmm. in terms of your career going to the next level. That's what I'm hearing at this time of mm -hmm. this reading. So um, what are some things you could do? You know, um, be a little more bold about um, reaching out for connections in the world of creativity, but not only that, reaching in. Yeah. Maybe getting a little more still in the still point, getting yes. a little more connected to quieting down. Because you're at a point in your life, they're showing me, Andrew, that um, it is time to take it to the next level, not only in your creative artist expression, but in your spiritual development. They're connected. Very similar to what Melissa was saying about art, creativity, our psychic ability, our spiritual path. Um, this is where, this is like the hump that you have to c get over for the next level of, of doors to open, shall we say. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to come from within you. You are going to create some concept or idea and I feel like there's writing that goes with it. Do you write? Yes, I do. So th you're going to be writing a script or a story, and um, 
there's so many facets of where your career is going to go. It's your own creation that you're going to be giving out to the world or could be. Obviously, you have to step into this. Yes. But also, then people will also be hiring you to put their concepts out and maybe ask for your consultation around how do you see this from an artistic point of view? Should it be shadowy and dark? Should it be full of light and love? Like, what is your concept and your vision as a filmmaker, even even drawing or art? Yeah. And why do I see tattoos? Do you make tattoos? Do you draw no, tattoos? I've been thinking for a while to get a couple of tattoos. Oh, actually. okay. So that's just about you. Yeah. All right. Well, if you're going to get a tattoo, Andrew, it needs to be something that will really inspire you to go to this deeper um, inner artist, inner um, visionary, inner voice that you have that wants to be expressed in this world. And it, I mean, this is going to go on for years. Mm. I see you as a much older man in your 60s, in mid-60s and 70s, um, and you stay with it. If you stay with it, you will be very seasoned and your work will be much more um, spread far and wide. But you've got to get out of that comfortable zone yeah. that you're in. That's been a thing I've been trying to kind of break from it's it. fear it's really you know. a little bit of fear yeah. and, and I know that under that you believe in yourself so mm -hmm. um, spirit is just wanting to really encourage you you're creative so go for it you've got it when you feel that fearful edge in you that's good mm -hmm. that means you're, you're at your edge and it's time to, to go forward and, and into your creative <laughs> good. work good. in the world yeah so that's my reading for you in your career it is going to get better and bigger but you do have to take that step both externally and internally. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Blessings. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. And that's our on-air reading. We'll be right back. Make a Welcome back, and Catherine, first of all, that was such a great reading, and any of our viewers can come on our show. They just mm -hmm. have to write to readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com, readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com, and you could get invited to do an on-air reading. Excellent. And also, anybody can call you on their own. That's right. Just go to katherineglass.com, yes, and my assistant will set you up with an appointment. Yeah, absolutely, because people need answers, and that's going to be our psychic tip. But in the meantime, psychic challenge. Yep, psychic so challenge. it was either the candle, the Alm stained glass or the beautiful feather. So which one did you pick? Catherine, which one was it? I picked the Ohm, the universal symbol. That is great. So if you picked the Ohm, you were right. I picked the candle. So again, you just can keep practicing and get better. That's right. right. That's right. Well, talking about practicing, uh, before we do that, we forgot to talk about oh, Melissa's, yes. a couple of her products. These are really, really beautiful. The Goddess on the Go cards, where you keep them These with are you. fabulous. To I kind have of them, yeah. keep you in a still place or focus. They're little messages of inspiration and love, hope, guidance. You can right. ask a question and pull a card or just right. randomly pull one without asking a question. It will be a message for you. I love stuff And her like that. tarot cards, right? Yes. These are all, uh, all the artwork is by Melissa. Melissa, and um, I'm sure they're inspirational. I have not looked at these yet myself, but I'm sure they're fabulous. So. They're great. I know they're so And all of these are, can be um, found on her website yep. and probably Amazon, I would think. Yeah. So anyway, let, you know what? Let's talk about psychic tips. Now, I have had so many friends lately, or even people I just bump into that I don't even know, when they find out mm -hmm. that I have a show, Six Sense and Beyond, I say, no, I am not the psychic, you know, <laughs> the the intuit I'm intuitive but I'm not the trained psychic but Catherine mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and so they are looking for answers. Yeah. One one of the women that I work with in one of my consulting projects said that she's making a major move in June and she just wants some time of guidance. Right. And mm -hmm. so we we're here to say that it's okay to ask for spirit guide guidance. Definitely, and it's okay to consult a professional when you need when you need guidance for a medical issue. You consult a professional when you need guidance for a financial issue. You consult a professional. So it's really okay to consult a professional in um, the intuitive realm of psychic and and guidance. Spiritual counseling is what I call it, and um, right. I do use my psychic ability and read. Right. And the way to determine if if you're going to someone who's reputable is um, to check them out, word of mouth, and any real good, really genuine psychic will have a track record of accuracy, right. and that's important. And, and that's they will important. never ask for more money than the fee that they originally charge. If they're telling you, if point. you pay me more money, I'll I'll take this curse off you. First of all, if they mention the word curse, run the right. other way because <laughs> right. that's, that's a, a good an indication point. right that's there. A good point. But they, your your fee should never be more than what is agreed upon for the reading. Right, that's yeah. great, and it is something that you've trained extensively, yeah, and it's also years. your life work. Yes. Right. 
so it's great. So it's okay to ask for guidance. Yes, no lightning's going to strike you. You're not going to go to hell, nothing like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you may get answers that you need right. and at least give you a different and parameter. peace of mind. Peace of mind as well. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching Sixth Sense and Beyond. We had such a fantastic show with another Melissa, great. the yep, spirit another artist. another great show. Yes, great. And our sponsors, Commerce Bank, TJ Woods Insurance, Healing, Healing Essence, Essence Center, Center yeah. and Julio's Liquor, Spirit, spirit Meets Spirit. spirit. <laughs> and also, <laughs> we also have, a, with the Hanover Theater, we have yeah. um, a, an event on June 2nd. Yes, the musical and everybody's ghost is invited. coming. invited. It's free. It's Nuovo. And you're going to start seeing a lot of publicity on that. Yep, Nuovo Restaurant. And our Inner Circle Psychics will be there. And you can have many readings. But it's free. And you'll have spirited drinks, too. Oh. <laughs> Ghostly <fine>. drinks. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. It's going to be fabulous. Right. Yeah. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful spring. Have a wonderful summer solstice will be coming up yeah, soon. That's right. Another magical time. Great. Thanks for watching. And be Let's make a soul connection. Soul to soul.